anytime you have a community of young, uh, interested people of any kind, you're gonna, you know, have a you know, have a situation where it makes it attractive for bands to come through here and play. The target demographic for, you know, most rock bands, uh, rock being a very broad term, but it's really, you know, age 16 to 25. Um, and that's not to say that people above 25 are no longer interested. Of course, I'm 32 and still just as interested, but, you know, a lot of people don't have the time or the inclination to fall in love with music in the way that they did when they were kids. So, you know, college, college towns like this one, university communities, are kind of set up with the right scenario for a really, um, you know, beautiful target demographic for bands and their representatives to bring them through. Obviously, major cities never get passed over on a major tour of any kind because, you know, there's a critical mass there. But what a place like Champaign-Urbana or Bloomington, Indiana or Iowa City offers is a really focused target demographic. So they can promote themselves to a 50,000 plus student population and all of those kids are at the right age to where they don't have mortgages or marriages, they just have time to have fun and fall in love with art. Bloomington Normal is just as large of a population and uh, has a large student body population as well, but they don't have anywhere near the kind of history that Champaign-Urbana does. And so then I think it comes onto the community, the people that comprise the art scene and the music scene. And we've just had the good fortune of having some really uh, you know, active and interested people over the years. I think that the, the people who own the venues, book the shows, um, and you know, are dedicated to making sure that there's bands coming through, that that creates a scenario where bands want to start bands, want to play. They got a good home base. They know that they can play at a variety of different venues and in a variety of different rooms. And I think that that's, um, that's why you see such a wealth of talent pretty consistently. I mean, any music scene ebbs and flows. Uh, there's years that there's more bands, better bands, in my opinion, but there's never a, a lack of bands. And that's because there's venues to play at. There is recording studios to, to go and lay, you know, commit to tape. So, you know, all of those things, I mean, I guess it's chicken and the egg, but they all kind of work together to create one really healthy music scene. I'm proud of, of what we have here. And I try to be a, a big time cheerleader and flag waver for, for what we have. And, try to get out in the world and it's fun for me when I go to different parts of the country and travel on business to talk to people about what I do and where I am and how Champaign-Urbana has affected the world. I mean, you can always point to the web browser. I mean, in the end, I think that our community produced enough technological advances and, you know, cultural relevance between Ebert, REO, and the internet web browser that we've stamped our place uh, into the history of time, and I'm glad to even be a, a, a real small part of that. If Champagne is nowhere, well, it's a nowhere where Allison Krauss, Dee Dee Bridgewater, Ario Speedwagon, Dan Fogelberg, the group Champagne. I mean, I could just go on. It was, if it was a nowhere place, boy, it was a good nowhere place to be. And it still is. You know, there is a sensibility sometimes, you know, it's part of the great flyover of, of, of America, you know, that goes from New York to LA. But my goodness, there's, you know, it's proven time and again that geography can play a part. But the good music is going to come from that anywhere. You know? There was always the thought in the back of my mind, and I know a lot of people's, 
that uh, L.A. was the place to be. And I had offers to go out there and stuff, but I also knew that everybody and their brother went to L.A. to make it. Out of what, every thousand people that went, you might have gotten one person that actually got somewhere. And not to the big time, just somewhere other than playing bars. There was kind of an attitude here that, man, you're a great musician, you ought to go to L.A. And the same thing in the acting, you're a great actor, go to L.A. Well, you go to L.A., everybody's a great actor and a great musician out there. You're just one of, of many. You may be very big here in Champaign-Urbana, but you go out into uh, major metro and the major music scene, uh, L.A. at that time, and New York to a lesser degree, and, and even Nashville were the big music centers at that time. And sometimes there'll be a great music scene and then all of a sudden it'll burst open internet, I mean nationally, like Seattle music scene. But I don't think those are in very many places, you know? Just a few places as I travel around, I see that there seems to be a lot of musicians there working and, and making a living and some studios to, to, to go to and things. A place like Austin or, like I just said, Seattle or somewhere like that. But Champaign was one of those. You know, in the 80s, when I was here, it felt that way. To be honest, in the, you know, in the 80s, when we had a little bit of break there with us and the Digits and the Poster Children, and the 90s, when it was Moon Seven Times and Hum and Hard Work and some of the other bands coming out of that, uh, and then even more recently when there's been success, I think it's a little bit of that underdog, you know, chip on the shoulder thing, living in the flyover states, and we're not Chicago, we're not St. Louis, we're not a big city. And uh, I think a lot of times... Um, we're not a big city and we're not a little college town. We're not Athens. So uh, we kind of fall in between the cracks. So it, it is kind of a, you know, a, an interesting dynamic and maybe that's what makes it so special. Well, I think that we're really, I, I hope that everyone realizes how lucky we are to have such a rich culture of music in this town. Um, really every kind of museum, we have phenomenal, um, we have great Irish musicians, we have great classical musicians, jazz musicians. But the rock and roll scene here has been wide and varied and, and long-lasting. And I, I hope people appreciate it. For a, a city this size, it's really uh, incredible how good it is. And I hope that everyone supports that by going out to see live music and buying records of, of these groups because it's, it is rare and worth supporting.